All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to use the extrude tool. So the extrude tool is another way to create a NURB surface from curves. So what the extrude tool does is basically it creates a path, uh, it creates a tube or a hose using two curves. All right. One curve is called a path and the other curve is called a profile. So let's go ahead and draw a path. Uh, let's go ahead and draw a path here, the CV curve 2, using a series, the CV curve 2. No, yep, we've drawn a path here. Just press enter. And let's draw a circle here. That's good. And uh, just tilt it. And move it a little bit. You don't have to be, to place it close to it. You can do it if you want to, but you can place it wherever, you know, somewhere close, who is good by me. So, now we've got those two. Now we're going to select both the, um, now we're going to select the pro both the profile and the path. So select the profile, shift select, and pre uh, select the path. Okay? And go into, oh, sorry, shift select this one, shift, uh, then path. Then go into um, into surfaces. Then um, go into surfaces and extrude. Okay. So we'll go into options first. Go into options. If you've noticed here, there's uh, we've got options where we have an uh, we have um, an option of where to place our our tube and path. Okay. So we can pre uh, place it at profile or at path. Cool. So, and again, you can also um, change the rotation and the scale. So anyway, let's uh, extrude, extrude this. If you, it starts from there, from the little circle that we created, until there. It's not in line with this path, but uh, you get the idea. So now let's back. Let's create back surfaces, extrude, and let's try how, let's see how path works. Okay, we've already tried the profile, now let's try the path. Click on extrude, see it will try its best to go along the path. See, it's trying its best to go along the path. So yeah, that's how the um, path works. So, um, so the other thing that you need to bear in mind is you can actually go to the attributes editor and define how exactly you want this little hose of uh, this ho hose you've created to work so you go into your hat, um, attributes editor and you've got uh, you've got all these different uh, options of um, rotation you can actually rotate your um, your hose and if you've got history turned on again this is this can be a good animation you can scale it, make it have a pointed tip, or make it have a hollow uh, tip, so like a trumpet look-alike, you know. We've got all those options. Um, yeah. So um, the other thing that I want to to uh, know is uh, the, there's a use component pivot. So right at the moment, it's closest endpoint to the path. Okay, so use that component pivot here. Component pivot, see how that works out. Let's try again. Use component pivot. See, it like shapes, shortens itself to actually match um to match this one. Or you can use center. That one it uh, lays itself alongside this, like parallel, if you can call it that. So. Yeah, that's how um, that's how the extrude two works, and uh, you can. I know this look, doesn't look like something that you would use uh, every day, but believe me, it is important. You can use this little tube to um, make uh, you know, like between the car body and the windscreen, there's that rubbery stuff. You can actually use um, this same tube to actually cover your rubber you to put in between in, in between the window and the, the the car body so yeah um i hope you like the tutorial and uh, please don't forget to subscribe thanks